start crying. Service is shaken. They will have given the uh, choir leader a second term. <laughs> the issue of divine partnership is a subject that every believer must take seriously. That is why the devil knows that the first thing to do to take any believer out, no matter how powerful he is, is to isolate him. No matter. You see, this thing I'm saying, I've been saying it, if you have listened to my message, you've heard me say this one like, maybe I think this is like, uh, no, 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 it's not 100. It's like 579 times this year. But people are still doing the same thing. If, for instance, now they lay you off in your office, it's God's fault. Abby, it's God's fault. A lot of people are not serious now. They are serious with their work. If this company was your own, will you be going late? If this company was your own, if this bank was your own, if this office was your own, will you be going late at night and telling them that it was traffic? If with the money we are paying you, if the way all of us are coming late is the way you came late, which money are we going to use to pay your salary? And you are the one bearing uh, Chuku Nonso, uh, Chide Bere. All the nice, nice name in the Bible is your name. The pastor, they want to sack me. Uh -huh. Sack me, you know, the key person now. You have, if you have done right, will your name be on that list? The pastor, the man wants to sleep with me. He wants to sleep with Why? Why are you the only one? How are you dressing? I mean, I'm going to leave matter. Come past the door here. Fire. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. By the time God now does the miracle, it is on WhatsApp. I'm seeing it. So just because I'm a child of testimony. Just because I'm favored. Just because. <laughs> but it's only the day you have a problem, you call pastor. I'm collecting all their names. All of them with their phone number. I send them love letter now. One of the reasons why. That many people are stranded is because they do not prioritize strategic divine relationships. This particular person here, this particular group of people are two believers filled with the Holy Ghost. There was a day I was sick. I, I was preaching in a meeting with other pastors. This was like uh, maybe like 10 years ago. So I was preaching in a meeting, but I was down with malaria and I was preaching. There's a particular brother I came from Port Harcourt. The brother used to, I don't know if you've seen Port Harcourt ministers before. Sometimes you don't know if they are talking about money or salvation. You are not too sure. It looked like money, sometimes it looked like salvation. But this brother was very anointed. He's a friend of mine, but I mean, his, his, his message is Port Harcourt style. It's not like my own. That is from the, from the mountain of Ayobabalola. <laughs> After the meeting, people were coming and saying, Pastor, please just lay hands on me. And I was laying hands, but I was sick. So after the meeting, I just told myself, if you continue like this, you will die. So I went to my friend. I said, man of God, you know, side if you one kind. Do you know what he did? He didn't pray for me. He just grabbed me and lifted me up. You know, like when you're excited, you grab. He lifted me up and shook me. I said, oh boy, I don't die today. <laughs> the moment he dropped me, my ear gone. I've never seen that kind of anointing before. I say, oh boy. <laughs> now, I don't calculate five million. I will go use by a quarter. I'll be waiting with that thing. I, I, uh, there's one pop. I, I, one medicine. Now, they use them. You sabiam. <laughs> the brother just grabbed me, took me up, and threw me down. I'm telling you, he didn't pray. He just jumped, bam. In my head, I disappeared. If two of you, that means for this strategy to work, there must be a divine recognition. This strategy doesn't work if you do not recognize the grace of God upon your sister's life. It's not all these prayer partners that are gossip. You will spend three hours to gossip. You now want to pray. No. For this prayer to work, this model, there must be, I must recognize the grace of God upon your life. And you also must believe in my own prayers. So that when you pray, I will say, Amen. And then when I pray, you too will say, Amen. Is somebody with me? Very simple, but that's how it works. Number two, for this model to work, there must be nothing hidden between two of us. 
There must be nothing eating between two of us. There must be koinonia, fellowship. I'm telling you why some things we read and we do don't work. It's not rocket science. This is spiritual science. If you don't know it, you don't know it. And your problem is your problem, is your problem, is your problem. Let me tell you something. There's a particular research paper I've been working on for like a week. Are you listening to me? I'm working on a particular research paper. In the last three days, I've typed almost 25 to 30 pages of research paper. And my professor said to me, I went to him last week and I said, Sir, I'm having some challenges with this particular research. Could you give me some kind of guide or a particular text that I could read? And he looked at me and he said, What? What? You are asking me to give you the yam and the knife? I said, no, to be specific, sir, what I'm actually saying is that I need a guide as my supervisor. He said, no, I don't do that. I don't spoon feed. I don't, I don't believe you need to go. I said, I've gone to ResearchGate. I've gone to Academia. I've gone to the British Journal of Sociology. I've gone to the American Journal. I began to call all the places I've gone to. He said, but you've not been to the main library. I said, I'm on my way there, but I thought if I saw you, I wouldn't need to go there. He said, no, you have to go to the main library. I've never been to the library in my life. I didn't say, <laughs> I say in my life, to do anything serious. Is, if you see me in the library in, in the university, maybe I went to look for my girlfriend there. I just, it, we call it uh, fiancé. Even though we didn't know if we were married, but we, we will be deceiving ourselves. Say, I marry you, marry me. She has run away. Sometimes she says, it's when I, she stand up, I start saying things about her. And one day she threatened me, the next time I preach, I will expose you. <laughs> so me, 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 you people that want to get first class, we, we already know we are going to make it. Like my friend, you say, Femi, you're not going to read. He just laugh. The younger brother of uh, Shoure is my classmate. Was my classmate in school. So I say, ah, Baba, so ni kawe ni. He go just laugh. He say, hey, we will know where we are going. Now you need this book. We will just want certificate. Say, we'll come. The guy was the just SY personal assistant to the, one of the governors in the Southwest. So anytime he posts, he used to tell me, when are you coming to the state? Come to the government house, I say, very soon. <laughs> but I just, you will see me take selfie for the first time. For all you haters. Where we came to see the governor. My friend, Femi, uh, Femo, Femi said we were the ones that need 2 1 and first class. He was just, I said the guy had something he was planning. We all finished NYC, we just noticed we don't know where Femi is again. Only for him to surface now, as I'm talking to you, Femi is contesting for elections in Poland. He married one fat girl like that in Poland. He started speaking the language. Sharp guy. When we are doing NYC, he refused to pray prayer of agreement. He went to look for some of those people that if you say I want to marry, they cannot say no. I'm telling you, people are very sharp. In this world, Jesus said the children of this world, they are wise. Even Jesus admitted that they are wise. You, you will not make friends with people that know how to pray and you say you are born again. Who, who, how do you want God to help you? You know that this is your friend has gift of vision. You will be beefing her. Because you don't even like her hairstyle. Meanwhile, just tell us you don't have money to make the kind of hairstyle. Who, who understand your level? You will see somebody doing something good. You cannot appreciate it. It's only criticism. And then the people in the world, they meet themselves in the club. How are you? What's your name? Oh, we're going to connect. Oh, you know so so person is my friend. <laughs> they shake their hand. The next day, they are calling themselves. Forming connection. Is it by singing? Is it the guy? And is the boy that won Grammy? Is it the? Is there anything special? In that? I, I listen to the thing. I don't understand it. But he got a Grammy. They, they, there is room for divine association. God makes provision. There are certain types of graces that God only releases when there is a spiritual uh, connection in the place of prayer. Come on, say I hear you. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Living 
a distant life from the community of believers. It's not a, of any help to you. If you go to a, maybe uh, uh, Ukraine now, the first thing you do is you go and identify yourself at the embassy. Is that not true? Then they will tell you, okay, uh, we have a Yoruba community on so so street. There are some parts of the U.S. If you go there, you will think you're in Nigeria. Uh, where is that area? Is it uh, Florida or uh, Maryland? You know, you see some of these places. They have Nigerians. You will be. You will think you are in uh, Uduwa Legba. I'm telling you, not to have a particular place you t that you can be. They can be. They, it can be said that they know you. That is why some of this prayer of agreement, you know, fails. Our Lord Jesus, when he was going to die. Took three of his disciples and took the. Ah, I must finish this message. Somebody drop 100,000. I cannot lose my money. <laughs> Somebody is waiting for me to fail. I will not fail. Come on, say I will not fail. Our Lord Jesus. You know, sometimes when I come here, I tell myself I'm going very serious. But I don't know if somebody is shooting an arrow somewhere. I will just start laughing and be gisting. But your arrow is not working. I just want to tell you. Wherever you are, your arrow is not working. But we laugh. <laughs> Jesus got to the mountain. For the first time, our Lord Jesus said to them, tarry with me in prayer. Excuse me. The maker of the world, this prayer. Have you no thinker? They won't go crucify him. He said, make them pray. Peter said, yeah, yeah, let's go. Peter, uh, uh, Peter select three people for me. Sir, uh, John, James. We are the ones that normally go with you. Come, come, come. We are going to pray. We are going to pray through today. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. All those people that they, they have finished the prayer in their mouth before the prayer starts. We call them pray you. When we are on campus, we call them pray you. The, the Bible study secretary and the prayer secretary, people are always interested in who those people are. President is just for formality. Pray you. Pray you. Sir. Sir. They go to the mountain. Let us begin to thank God. <laughs> because when they were eating Lord's Supper that day, Peter ate too much bread. He ate bread. And when they said, pack the wine, let's clear the table. Peter went to the kitchen and topped it up. If you want to pray at night, you cannot eat too much that night. It's not spiritually healthy. Just because you love dinner. See, I, 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 don't, I don't really care so much about my breakfast or my lunch, but you see my dinner... My dinner has to be exquisite. My dinner has to be proper. I like to sleep well. And that really depends a lot on the kind of food that I eat. I like my food to be fresh. I don't eat uh, second day eba. I don't eat uh, uh, three days old. Uh, they, when I came to Lagos, it was two days eba. They used to welcome me. In Egbeda. People don't know that I've gone far. You think I just show up and I'm speaking quick English. When you eat two days eba to a level, your voice will change. They say hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, shine your eye. <laughs> Second service, I promise, is going to be a prophetic service. I'll be teaching you. Okay. You see, the spirit of joy is in the house. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, Jesus got, Jesus was so blessed. His prayer warriors, his prayer partners, they are very effective. You understand? So, when me as a pastor, I want to complain, but I remember that my Lord, the people that I used to pray with, they sleep throughout. It's only to say, Peter, Peter, huh? Huh? we are still praying. James, no fire at all. John, oh, that John is always singing. How oh, I love your Lord. There are some people you say, let's pray. They will sing and sing and sing and sing. You, you are sweating. Oh, say, pastor, say the key of praise. The key, the key of gratitude. The key of gratitude. A man that knows how to praise God will not have limitation. Oh, oh we, just love, we just love you, Jesus. Meanwhile, Now, I love you. Oh, for my heart, I love you. If you are singing in the middle of the night, how can you cannot cheat nature? Oruloko, you will sleep. 
If you want to pray at night, you don't pray on your bed. In our cross, I say, I'm just in the spirit. I just, I just, I just, I'm in the spirit. I, my heart is connecting here. You just be praying, I'm with you. If that's the way the enemy came at night, they will not be able to achieve anything. Jesus said the enemy came at night and saw tears. If the way they came is the way you cross your leg at night. So I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All the glory must belong to you. Shikolo. I want you to be angry. I don't want you to laugh. I want you to be angry because this thing, do you know I realized it was happening? It happened to me. <laughs> After I said, Oh, my pastor, my dear, you be pastor, see the way they pray. Shh, ba, 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 ba. Shh. Ah, it is well, oh. <laughs> this thing, no, they easy. This prayer, prayer for one hour. Mm. Sometimes you tell your friend, Meet me on Zoom, let's pray by 11. By the time you call him, 11 15 is not picking. <laughs> 11 30, he now picks. You now say, ah, oh boy, James, I've been trying to call you. Say, ah, ah sorry, eh, sorry, sorry. Ah. Even the way he answered, he has killed your fire. Now say, let's begin to thank God. Only your mic is moving on Zoom. He now mute himself. <laughs> Some of you are knowing yourself now. If I pray with you on Zoom, you must unmute your mic. The devil is a liar. Emil over my low scope. You want to use scope for me? We say it's, it's, it's prayer of, uh, of agreement. When you mute your mic, how do I know what we are agreeing on? The devil is a liar. Or mute and say, I don't know. Maybe it's network. If you can hear me, mute. he said, I don't know. I just changed phone. You unmute your mic. Only raw. You are lying in the presence of God. You cannot unmute mic. This is not off your mic. It's on your mic. He said, <laughs> give me my scripture. I better make a round of time. Don't go. Are you blessed this morning? You see, the devil tries to confuse you. That is why you must choose your inner circle carefully. Any person you cannot call and say, please pray for me, cannot be your friend. They can be acquaintances. There can be the people, there are some people, and if you are that person that they only call you when they want to go and enjoy, you are not a good friend. The only time I had a shade, you can pay lie day. You saw those five five Shade, lie day, Fatima, Omo, Abolo Shilo, Anade na free, Mo enter town, Omo. Ah, so what? You out here? Ha! Yeah, yeah. You just kind of say, and go back, right? We go block for Nasa. We will pick you. They will pick. Oh, you have time. <laughs> so now pick you, pick you. So Alpha, which side most Alpha? More enter lucky face one. You now go, and then you are now videoing yourself. With, you know, I don't know how people even insert there's even insert song. Say, I'm here, my homies. We just say, just have a good time. <laughs> I now know why they are pressing you at night. <laughs> now, and me, I ask myself, why, why is your life? Why can't you be enjoying like this? Then he just made a statement. He said he was rushing for a meeting on a particular day. He said, and he was late. He started driving rough. Pastor said, you cannot, you, if you want to be a pastor, you must have one part of it that is a tug. He said he started driving rough. The now stop, uh, traffic line now stopping. And as he was, as he was, <laughs> as he was, look, you know, let this thing move. He said he saw a man carrying, you know those days of double decker. Some of you know the days of double decker. Some of you don't know it. Because you are not born. Double decker, you play cassette. Huh? Yeah. You now carry it. You now wear Nika and uh, trainers. You now we do like this on the road. <laughs> and you go, Ledamo. It's what we did. That's where Jesus met some of us. <laughs> you carry. In fact, in those days, it was it was like cool to carry your double decker. Uh, Return of the man. What do you say? Return of the man. If you do like this, so if you don't know the song, just be shouting hallelujah. You don't know so what's, where Jesus speaks some of us from. So anybody that sees you on the road, kind of thing, it doesn't look like body, you know. It means you are actually part of the happening, guys. So then he just said he was looking, he now looked, saw the guy. Return of the man. Return of the man. What do you say? Return of the man. What do you say? 
Uh, and the guy was, <laughs> he took the thing. He said, and God now said, can you see the difference between you and this man? You are stressed. You are trying to get to an appointment. This guy is just cooling off. And he said, God explained to him a very powerful principle in leadership that day. It's called the burden of leadership. Uh, <laughs> there are certain things you will not really have time for. Not because they are not good. But because of the weight of burden. You have deadlines to meet. You have people you need to speak to. You have books you need to write. You have prayers you need to pray. You have business meetings you need to have. So this guy that is doing return of the mark cannot be your choice of friend as a time T. The guy is going to heaven. Thank God for his life. But if you Lord Gino, where we are going is far. When they are pursuing you, you don't move with another person that they are pursuing. You look for somebody that has conquered. Then in peradventure, you will learn something from that one. One of my prayers in those days, he said to me, man of God, say man of God, you see, I have encountered demons. I have encountered evil spirits. Every night, so so time they come. And I listened to him for like 20 minutes. Then I gave him a quote from Bishop Oedeko. I said, the consistent attack on a man's life is not really as a result of the power allocation given to Satan, but the wordlessness of the believer. When a man has the, does not have the word of God resting in his heart, if the work you refuse to do in the day, you will do it in the night because they must pursue you. You must have the heart of a warrior. This one. This is how to, it's called collabo, spiritual collabo. How to partner and draw strength from each other. And when you are faced with powers and, and, and situations that are beyond you, you switch into your spiritual DNA and you give a cry in the spirit. There is a war cry that brings Jericho down. When Elisha was left by the water, after his father and the Lord has gone, he didn't go there and try to say, how did my father and the Lord do it? He just took the mantle. We are in the Lord God of Elijah. Pop! It can be replicated. I say it can be replicated. It is for only for those who understand that they are part of a community. You must understand the power of belonging to a community because where your own anointing stop is where the community power starts. If there is a Nigeria in this country that is victimized by the government, but that man also has a, a U.S. citizenship, passport, you can't touch him. You don't agree with me? He's bearing Chukwe Buka, uh, Uzodima, God's power. But it's, the power is not working, but he says it's God's power. If they pursue him from Umaya and he gets to the U.S. embassy, in Abuja and he steps one foot like this inside the, you see the power of a communal of a communal life if he does his passport like this nobody on the outside can fire a bullet again do you hear what I said I said if one leg touches the US soil in Abuja and one leg is still outside nobody can fire a bullet again you fire it you have fired the whole nation which is why we are begging that uh, the whole matter should be resolved. Even though we didn't know why you said wrote what you wrote. But remember. There's power in community. Lone rangers. Even Jesus did not guarantee that your anointing will be enough for you. He said if two of you. That means there are some situations you will face in life that are beyond you. <clears throat> you need your pastor to pray with you. You need your sister and the Lord to join faith with you. Don't kid yourself. This thing is in English. Read it. Read it. There are some things quoting Bible will not work. It is prayer of agreement. So when you begin to pray and you notice some resistance, the scripture says one of you shall change what? A thousand. But two of you will change what? You will change ten thousand. That's multiplied by what? By if one changes one thousand, two changes by, by 10. That means the power 
allocated to two people of the same mind is raised to the power of 10. And that 10 is equivalent to 10,000 demons. Are you with me? That's spiritual calculation. So keep fighting with everybody around you. Keep fighting. When the devil is telling you they are your enemies, keep fighting. You need to look for those people that God has put in your space. You need to look for a church where, God, where you can be prayed for and you will see results. Ha! I had a pastor when I was in Redeem. If you see the man's punk, eh? he's punk. I've, even Pastor Desmond is still learning work. <clears throat> that punk is so high. It's like the Tower of Babel. The, the man, uh, MC Amma. Don't worry, all these unbelievers, they are coming to Christ. I think MC Amma is already a pastor. Sir. I went to him. I had a very huge boil under my arm. And I have been praying for others that have been getting healed. But I prayed on this one. He said, the more I pray, once I try to pray, it will go bigger. So I now, you know, I now go to church. And I'm part of the prayer leaders in the church. Father, I will thank you as we gather this morning now. Let the atmosphere be open. The moment you raise the hand, eesh. if you've ever, if you've ever had a boil under your arm, a big one, you will understand. That kind of boil is not an uh, ampiclox. So they will cut it. Who knows what I'm saying? It's like somebody has a witness here. You know, you see, as you are fine like this now, the brother says, why don't you hug me? With which hand? I hug you, you die. <laughs> because that thing under that hand will not let you, it's, it's, it's worse than my grain. You say, ah, let's lift up our holy hands. Which holy hand? <laughs> this holy hand is staying down today. Kilo day. I went to my pastor with his uh, eye hand punk. And I said, Pastor Victor, this hand. He looked at me. He laughed. He said, Father, in Jesus' name, heal your son, touch him, deliver him in Jesus' name. I said, Amen. Bam. I believe I went home. By the time I got home, pus was already drizzling out. That thing was not caught again. It came out completely. We do not look at men after the flesh. Don't make that mistake. Somebody can be 16, but be a giant spiritually. Don't be far from where you will get help. It's called the power of two. Come on, say the power of two. Somebody say, Pastor, I'm so sorry. I'm just calling you. I don't know. I'm really bored. I, you are not bored. It's my work. Don't sack me. It's my work. How can I go to my gas office in the bank? And I say, sir, I don't know. Ah, it's his work. You can't chase me. You will do this thing. You're a pastor. Your job is to do what others don't want to do. He said, if two of you shall agree, this other issue of agreement is another reason why we don't see results. Because people say, let us pray. But they are talking about two different things. Yeah. What are you praying for? You say, uh, uh, you know, uh, Pastor Kenny, when I saw Fatima, you know, something just really connected in my heart. <clears throat> something, I just felt like a kind of connection, you know. And uh, no, you know, he's being honest. You know, you're a cell leader. You say, so, Brogbinga, what are you saying now? You say, uh, <laughs> I just want you to agree with me. I believe God is doing something. You know? Now, what he fell in love with is the, you say, you know, this is the figure that is trending now. They have left the big ones. They are here now. Now, they, after they also move again. He fell in love with this eclectic, trendy girl that likes playing with her hair, different style, different, you know, whatever. You, you, the prayer warrior in the prayer unit that we always pray in Cassie, that we dress like my grandmother. That one is not good. Because money never come. She doesn't know that Fatima, she knows they play, oh. if she's angry, she breaks things. She doesn't know. But you hear say, I just, I just really connect, you know, Pastor. I just, I, I've never really felt like this. You will soon feel like it. <laughs> but she, your, that your iPhone that I shock you is the first thing she will smash. <laughs> but you know, you want something, but Pastor Kenny's prayer and say, he's feeling a resistance, like not a voice, but like let's be patient. But you don't want anybody to tell you to be patient because you think Ijafara Olewu. How do I explain that one in English? Delay. Delay is dangerous. You don't want anything that 
Tomorrow now they will now say, Fatima is not available again. Because Pastor Kenny said, wait. You will never forgive Pastor Kenny. So, Pastor Kenny said, wait, it's okay, thank you, Pastor. You will now go back and chat her. Say, ha, ha, I just felt like checking on you. <laughs> we must agree on the same thing. Agree means we both understand what we want and the instructions both of us must abide by. When you go home, Masuke Tayikabaya, my brother, Lekatovia, that seven days fasting, we are going to do it. Now, I told him now, seven days. He decided to be breaking by three. <clears throat> Meanwhile, in our mind, we both know it is six to six. We know. Then my brother got home and said he felt weak in the office, decided to take chingum. And then from there, he felt hungry. Then somebody came with her father rice. He just, you know, things happened, you know. So, You must agree. Kenny, I am telling you when you pray with people, ask direct questions. Yes. People make you feel like you are not anointed. <clears throat> we must agree on the same thing. This fasting, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m., that's the way it is. The moment you eat or father the rice or you smell it, don't call my number. <clears throat> he said, whatsoever you, anything that they shall ask. Now, look at where God said they will agree. Where? He said on earth. There are people that believe men of God that are dead. They will never believe them when they are alive. Ah, he's a man of God, yo. He's a philanthropist, yo. Why didn't you go to that church when he was alive? People, they will push you into gutter. I'm telling you, you got to be careful. Say, man of God. Say, man of God. People are, <clears throat> my life will never be marked, God forbid, that it is DP that we used to celebrate me, DP. And after one day, they remove it. And everyone is weeping. They, this one, we gave him anointing to move nations. He was looking for fame. You, you can, some of you do not think that the brother close to you is someone you can agree with. Because in your, in your opinion, you are spiritually higher than him. He said you will agree on it. Leave Apostle Paul alone. So there are people that are always seeing vision of dead men. I contacted the anointing of our bishop with the I saw the angel of this. Oga, if two of you shall agree on earth. Baba Debo is still alive, you. Collect what you want to collect now. <laughs> Stop looking. There are people in America that go to graveyards of men of God that have died. And they are sleeping on it. Saying they are connecting anointing. You are connecting spirit of death. People don't know anything. People are going to Ibaba last grave and putting water there. You are not you are playing with fire. If any of you shall agree on earth, not with dead things. On earth means that thing has capacity to produce. On earth means it has capacity to grow. God, when he created the earth, he blessed it. The agreement must be on that which God has capacity to bless. Are you with me now? My time is up. Psalm 133, verse 1 to 3. I have not finished, though, but the person that I'm weighing 100,000, I don't know if I can do transfer, but I think there's even net up problem. Uh, 133. Psalm 133. It's like the transfer is not even working. I don't know. What, I can't even remember. I, I think there's something with my pin. I can't even remember. <laughs> Nobody's come and ask me for anything. Because I told you to come and bring your money and put it here. You didn't come out. I'm at We will scatter everything. You people didn't have set it up. I say if you are the person, come and drop your money here. <laughs> the person that wants to come and ask you, say, Pastor, you say you finished, you didn't bring your 100,000. At Tibet, what he lose. Everybody go home with his money. Alpha bet, Metra bet, Kiniko bet. Keep betting your life away. You want to hammer. Is that how the. <laughs> Behold how good I'm playing this for brethren. When they dwell together in what? So there are two significant words there. The first one is dwell. The second one is together. And the third one is unity. So when you are in the same, you can be in the same house with your wife. But it's only in that physical location. You are not dwelling together. And you must be united. You must be united. 
Some people's unity is on Facebook. There's a man that wrote a book in Bini City. Uh, uh, Osahon. And in the appreciation of what's that acknowledgement, he was said, like, my beautiful wife, my wife of jewel of inestimable value. He was praising the wife. Everybody knows the wife is a fighter. They're always fighting. She embarrasses him publicly. She does everything. And he started praising the wife. He said, Baba, why they greet this woman like this? He said, because I know one thing, Wala. This book, where we write, if it turn to Wala. So I use one old page, greet him. I use one old page, greet him. Just to manage her. Said so They said we should discover her love language. So I want to... Uh, <laughs> David, I don't know what I do to David in this church. I will go and start another branch now. Where I can be preaching as I like. He said... <laughs> He said, for bread to death together, you need to give me verse 2. It is like when we dwell together, unity of purpose, unity of vision, unity of intention, unity of strategy. Huh? God likened it to what? The oil, the anointing oil that was put upon the head of Aaron. The day that God called Aaron, Yemalu Barakataya. You are to you shakaba. You are the high priest. Hmm. Hmm. And Aaron fell under the anointing. Say, pick him up. Karabagaba. Pour again. Hmm. Say, pick him up. Hmm. What the rosy? Hmm. Appreciate our high priest. Now wave, wave, wave. Uh, let us support his ministry. Let's encourage our brother, brother Aaron. He will now be known as Bishop Aaron. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate brother Aaron. That oil, the oil that caused his rod to board when there was opposition, that's the kind of oil we are talking about. That when you, people try to attack you, you will begin to blow some. That kind of anointing is a very rare one. Most people, when they are under attack, they are trying to defend themselves. This Aaron's anointing, under attack, the glory will be coming out. Do you remember that story? When they tried to attack, they, they raised opposition, and God said, put his rod I will come back and explain that one. That because you, you don't understand it. You put it in the, in the presence of God and they brought it out. Beautiful flowers. God said when you dwell with your wife, when you dwell with your prayer partner, when you, have a, when you want to practice the prayer of agreement and you dwell together in unity, you are clear about why you are praying. He said it is likened to when the oil that was poured upon Aaron's bed that went from the top of his head and went down to his head. Verse 3, quickly. It is like the dew of Ammon. And as the dew, the inspiration, the impartation, the anointing that descended from Mount Zion. For where, that is where the Lord, what? Commands the blessing. And what? Life. Zoe, forevermore. This is the blessing of the prayer of agreement. This is the blessing of unity. Every time the devil wants to rob you of your biggest blessing in life, it will bring rancor. It will bring disagreement. You will be proving your point till that angel will walk away. Next verse. Is that all? I lay at your feet a master key which the enemy cannot do anything about. I lay at your feet today the key of the prayer of unity and agreement. Let's pray. And there is nothing you can do. Oh Lord, my eyes are... Hold somebody standing beside you now as a mark of agreement. Shakata Bakuri Nataya. Etanaki Most High God, the God 